This is BBC World, now Asia Today. Welcome to Asia Today, I'm Geetha Guramuthi. In this program, hardline Hindus in India vow to go ahead with a demonstration at a disputed holy site. Should Muslim nations send troops to Iraq, the key question at a major summit? And we talk to Malaysia's Prime Minister as he prepares to retire after 22 years in the job. Hardline Hindus have vowed to go ahead with a demonstration at a disputed religious site in northern India. The rally, due to be held in Ayodhya on Friday, has been outlawed by the... You're watching Asia Today. Still to come, the rest of the news, business and sport plus. The Philippine government confirms that the country's most wanted terrorist suspect has been killed. That's after this break. Welcome back to Asia Today. I'm Geetha Gurumuthi. A reminder of our top story. Hardline Hindus in India have vowed to go ahead with a demonstration at the disputed holy site of Ayodhya. Police in Nepal say at least 27 people have been killed after hundreds of Maoist rebels attacked a police training camp. This is Asia Today with me, Geetha Gurumuthi. catch up with business and Jane. Thanks Geeta. And first news from China where the 16th Communist Party Congress is being held. The Chinese government has issued the first ever document outlining... You're watching Asia Today on BBC World. A bit of cricket, amongst other things, a sport with Francis. Gita, thank you very much. Yes, let's start with uh, cricket. Australia have beaten Zimbabwe by a massive innings and 170. Well played. That's all the sport for now. Francis, thanks very much indeed. Time for a reminder of our main news. Hardline Hindus in India say they'll go ahead with a rally at the disputed holy site of Ayodhya on Friday despite a judicial ban. And delegates at a major Muslim summit in Malaysia are to discuss sending troops to Iraq as part of a joint force. The Pakistani High Commissioner to Britain told us that President Musharraf would take any decision on troops in Pakistan's national interest. That's it from us. Bye-bye.